Hurricane Harvey gaining momentum as it heads towards the Gulf Coast near the Texas coast right there. You can see the track of that storm. This is an area that is home to about 17% of the U.S.'s total crude oil production and about a third of U.S. refining capacity. The storm could worsen into a Category 3 hurricane by Friday and become the first to make landfall in Texas in about a decade, dumping as much as two feet of rain on the heart of the U.S. refining industry. Strong winds are talking 150 miles per hour and a storm surge. Let's bring in, look who's here, Lipow Oil Associates President, the oil expert. He's Andrew Lipow. How are you? I'm doing well. Good to see you, Andy. How worried about, uh, are you about this storm on, on, every, on the whole area? What, what are your thoughts? Well, first, it's a very particular concern in Corpus Christi because it looks like they're going to take a direct hit, and we're already seeing the refineries down there shut down. For oil production in the Gulf of Mexico, already nearly 10% of oil production is shut in in the Gulf of Mexico. But if this storm comes in and makes landfall at Corpus, and then starts traversing eastward towards Houston and Lake Charles. It's a significant flooding event where the 30% of refining capacity could be impacted, and that's going to impact the consumer. So I'm particularly worried about flooding. Tell us how it's going to impact the consumers. We, we of course, are staying on the story about how this could be a life-threatening storm, and we are watching the storm carefully to protect people in the area and report back to them. But gas prices, what do you, what do you think there? Well, we've already seen gasoline prices in the, in the bulk wholesale markets move up 10 cents a gallon. And should this uh, storm start taking out the Houston area refiners, the impact to the consumer, especially east of the Rockies, could be 15 and 20 cents a gallon. That's pretty significant, right? Oh, of course, and you're going to see it quite a bit. But of additional concern is that the big pipelines that are supplying those east coast markets, like Atlanta, Charlotte, uh, Washington, D.C., that originate in Houston, if they're flooded out, those pipelines are going to shut down, and so those consumers are going to be affected as well. That's a, what a story. Okay, so, you know, you reported on this large, during large hurricanes, the demand for gas, it looks like it drops because people are traveling less with all the wreckage, unfortunately. Um, if regional demands are changed drastically, what does this mean for the overall market? Well, well, it's true, like in the Houston area, the Corpus Christi area, demand is going to go down. But today, everyone is running out to the, to the supermarket to fill up with water. Oh, yeah, that's but, true. But what does happen is that amount of demand decline, if you will, is really more than offset by the loss of gasoline and diesel coming out of the refineries. So that's where we get a big imbalance. So today, you saw the crude oil market decline nearly 80 cents a gallon because with the refineries shut down, the demand goes down. But as far as the general public is concerned, yes, Houston is affected, but the rest of the country, not so much. And as a result, we're seeing spikes in gasoline prices. How worried are you about this? Well, I'm particularly concerned about the flooding event, especially if we were to get 20 and 30 inches of rain over a three-day period, it's very difficult for the refineries to continue to get rid of all that water and, and not uh, have the it. equipment flooded. But if we get 20 inches of water and it occurs over four or five days, they'll be able to manage it themselves through.